Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and it's time for a combo. We're going to be starting off with a Dollar Tree DIY. Now this is a DIY tool for paper crafters and stampers. So let me go ahead and show you and then I will show you how I use it in a um, making of my free tutorial Friday. So what you're going to use is the Dollar Tree. This is a wine cork. This one says uh, Living Lush, but that's okay. I'm going to use it for my stamping tool, and I think Living Lush is totally cute on what I'm going to do. And then, of course, like I said, it's a wine cork, so you've got the wine cork. And then we're going to take these felt pads, and I'm going to take these the round ones here, and it comes... Um, together so I just snipped mine apart so we have one of these now we're gonna take some scissors I'm gonna take some just gonna take my paper snips because they're very um, sharp and you're just gonna go around and you're just gonna start snipping off this and you're just gonna go around and around until you start getting closer to the edge and then it'll all come out just like that so then you're going to clean it up just a little bit making a little bit of a mess here but that's okay and I don't need it to all go away I just need it to be kind of a little bit flat okay so we've got all of that Gonna get that out of there. Okay, once it's all nice and cleaned up there, we wanna give it a clean surface. So I'm just gonna grab my little wipes here. And this is perfect, because I'll use it to clean up my stamps as well. But we're just gonna clean this little area. just like that and give it a good surface. And then these come right off. They are actually, I believe they're stickers. They are. So we're gonna take those and we're gonna stick that right on there. Right? And this is it, you guys. This is your stamping tool. Now let me go ahead and go into showing you how I do this. For some reason, I'm getting cut off. I'm gonna turn this just a little bit. There we go. So we've got that stamping tool. Now let me go ahead and show you how to do it. I'm gonna clean this area off real quick. And now I've got cork everywhere, so I am not going to <laughs> use this <laughs> for cleaning my stamps. All right. I always just go over it to give it a little bit of dryness. All right, let me show you what we're gonna be using. I I grabbed a few things because I think I might embellish. I'm not sure, but I grabbed the Whisper White. Um, it is the crinkled seam binding ribbon. Definitely gonna be using the Hearts uh, touches. Of course, I've got my Stamp and Seal, my Memento. We're gonna be using the Heart Felt. I'm gonna be using the Love You Lots and the Happy Valentine's Day here. We're going to also be using the Buffalo Checks. I have all of this um, information on my blog, beautyandthestamper.com. And I'll put a link right down below so that you could see how I um, cut everything and get all the dimensionals. So I've got my base here. This is in, what color is that? Flirty Flamingo. So I'm just gonna take this, we're gonna create our base. I'm gonna take that bone folder. I know you guys are waiting like, what's the Dollar Tree tool that you made? So I'm just gonna cut that. Now, let me show you. I have a piece of Whisper White. Oh, Happy New Year! 
my goodness. <laughs> I put that there to remind me, uh, make sure, you guys, it's Happy New Year. I'm going to line this little guy up with this line here and that line there. And if you saw my last video using the Stamparatus, you saw that I busted my um, little magnets, but that's okay. I just put tape around it and I wanted to show you that it, it does stick still rather well. But because we want to make this into a background, I'm not going to be using the um, not going to be using the magnets. Now, if you wanted to make this bigger and then cut it down, you could totally do that. But I want to line this up perfectly just in case I need to re-stamp it. So I'm going to take my buffalo checks and actually, since this does have that um, rubber piece there, see that? That rubber piece, it's not the um, photopolymer. We do not need this extra little piece. So I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to line this back up again. And I'm hoping that we don't need to realign this, but just in case, just in case. So I'm gonna line this one up as well. It is pretty straight. So I'm gonna line this one here with this line and then put that down like that. Now we're gonna come and grab this and see how I'm moving my hand around. I don't want to put any slip pressure. So we'll open that up. It did move just a little bit. So I wanna make sure that that gets right in there. Perfect. Of course it's not perfect. There we go. Okay, so now we've got that done. Move this out of the way and put this down. We're going to get our memento ink here. And we are just going to ink this guy up. Ink him up really good. I always just put this around like this to start. And then I'll go through really get this going here and don't be afraid to really get this inked up if you see any spots get them because this is a hard one that's why we use the stamparatus I think we're good I think we've got everything I'm gonna close this back up and here we go so I'm going to take this guy and we're going to close it. Now I'm going to take this little tool and we can put some pressure on there and we can just move that right around. You guys, it's so nice and it just flows like, like an ice rink almost, right? So I think this video is going to be a little bit longer, but really going back and forth getting those pieces in there and I think I'm hoping but I think that this is going to work out really well so you just do little circles so and look at that it is just a great little tool so unfortunately I only found one if I found more I would grab more and um, make little gifts all right, that is stuck on there. I do not want to go touching it. So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. And we're going to pick up a corner. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that came out. Look at how straight that came out. 
I am loving it. All right. Now that you can't see that, that does say jeanpiersani.stampinup.net. I know some people like to put in the .com, but it is, this is huge, it is .net. All right, let's get rid of this, and we're going to go ahead and make our, ooh, this is yucky. I just want to get it up a little bit. I'm not going to clean the whole thing, but not until later. So we're going to take that off. And I'm going to set this off to the side. It's so sticky with those cling stamps. Now I'm going to be using this one on the next one because we are going to be using the photopolymer. I'm going to set this piece off to the side. So we'll put that over here with our base. And now we're going to work on our next piece. Okay, I am going to put this one down. I am gonna use the magnets because I definitely wanna hold this in place. This is a scrap piece of paper, so it's all torn, so I definitely want to do my stamping here. The good thing it broke, now I have three magnets. <laughs> the other one broke twice, so it's like really, uh, it's really, too small to use. Okay. Whew. Yeah, you can see. You guys didn't used to be able to see me like going freaking out. Where's my stuff? I'm going to use this Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to grab that one. I also am using the Love You Lots. That one I'm going to hand stamp because I think that will be okay. I'm going to grab that one. I'm gonna use it down here because I need to make sure my punch goes in there. So I'm just gonna put this right up here. Now, if you see that this is a blackout, you see that? And so that is gonna be showing through. That is why I wanted to use the Stamparatus on this one. So we're gonna push that down, get that little guy if you want to. And then we're gonna lift that up. And move this down a little bit more because it did kind of pull on that paper. All right, here we go. We're gonna use that memento and we are going to put that on here. And this one, I'm not gonna move it around because I don't want it to get into those little crevices. And that is why the Stamparatus is gonna be good. I'm gonna push that into both areas. I'm going to put this down and I definitely know that I'm going to be needing to do this multiple times. See how that did not come out, but that's okay. We're going to keep doing it until we get the right um, colors that we need and that is why the Stamparatus is so nice. Still have a little bit more to go. I'm seeing that that center is not coming so I'm going to try and get that center a little bit better here. Looks like it's coming up a little bit better. So how many times is this? This is gonna be the third time. Pushing that down, really working that in there. We are close, I think probably one more. Oh, be careful.
trying to get that center. Looking around to see what's missing here. Okay, got one more. See? <laughs> when people ask, is this uh, card made with love? You can 100% say that it is because we are taking the time to do this nice and pretty. All right, look at that. Perfect. Now we can move this out. I'm going to set this away because we're not going to be needing that. And then I'm going to take, let that dry a little bit. I'm going to just take a piece here. get out my love you lots stamp set this one is well loved you can tell I used a lot of bright red pink colors probably some melon mambo all right this one I am going to move it around a little bit make sure I get it because not using the stamparatus so we've got one shot I'm just going to put it right up here we don't really have one shot. We could just put that paper and flip it over. And could you use this on here? You could, but you're going to really risk um, messing that up. Perfect. I love when it comes out perfect. <laughs> that's That's probably why I love stamping so much, because first of all, it's pretty easy to come out perfect, and when it does, you're like, yes, I got it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use this one here. Use that love you lots. I love that you can just line that up and it's gonna come out nice every time. Got that piece. And then, now you need to decide, do you want your Happy Valentine's Day to be with just a little um, border like that, or do you want to use your scalloped heart and have some scallops around it? I like the scallops around it, so I'm going to grab that, line that up. And what I'm lining up is that this is going down the middle and that the middle is going down in the center scallop there. And there we go. Now you can cut another one out if you'd like. And I will show you because we can border this. Well, I grabbed it on. That's all right. I grabbed it where it was torn, so it has a little bit of fuzz there, but that is okay. But you can put this on top of that and have these cute little scallops on both of them. So I'm not going to do the scallops on this one because I just want the two together, but I think they are adorable. All right, let's put this all together. Okay, I'm going to grab this. We are going to take, where's that crinkled ribbon? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna take that crinkled ribbon. And I'm gonna wrap it around here. And of course, we're gonna make you suffer through me making a knot possibly a bow. I think we're going with just a knot. Now, if it doesn't come out the way you want it, just take that, flip it around, and then have it come out the way you want it. And you can also, if your knots are going down the other way, same thing. 
just take it, push it where you want it, and make it go down where you want it. So no problems, no worries. We're gonna take our paper snips and we're just gonna snip these little guys. Now yeah, I'm gonna hold it. When you hold it tighter, it helps to, to cut it a little bit better. All right, we've got that, we've got that. And now, we are going to take our snail adhesive. No, it's not, it's our stamp and seal. You guys, I still have, I like stocked up on the snail adhesive, so I saw it. But we're gonna use our stamp and seal since I try and show you what you can purchase. So if you do wanna purchase any of this stuff, you can do so on um, my site, jeanpersani.stampinup.net. And put this right in the middle here. Give ourselves a nice border. And then I'm going to get out some dimensionals. And we're going to put this one down like that. And I am going to put this one down straight onto the paper with a little twist going that way. And then this guy, he's gonna be, well, <laughs> always, every time. I was like, you guys, this is actually going really well. Nope. God's like, don't get cocky. <laughs> So there we go. We're going to take that one and we'll put it just like that. All right. So, you guys, I wanted to show you. You know about the pearls, right? Where you take your pearls and then you can take your stamp and blends. This is going to be the bane of my existence all day. That little guy's going to chase me around. You can take your basic pearls, take any of your stamping color blends, and then just um, mark them, right? And now you've got black pearls. But guess what? We only have to do this until the fifth because black pearls are coming out. So, but they don't have to be, let me see. I'm looking for a flirty flamingo if I have it. Flirty Flamingo, we can do a Flirty Flamingo one as well. So I'm gonna do a couple of those. And so we've got Pearls, Flirty Flamingo, and Basic Black. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on there. This one's dry, so we're good. And I'm just going to put them, well, I'm going to kind of put them around in different spots here. And the Flirty Flamingo will go up here. This one doesn't want to stick for some reason. It's okay, we'll move on. Oh, I think it's not sticking, yeah. It's not sticking to the ink there. So I'm just gonna move them. And there we go, oh, so cute. All right, so we've got our little Valentine's Day card. And you can use any colors that you want on there, but this, came out super cute. I love how, ah, he's not sticking around. He's like, forget it, I'm out. 
that's all right. Let's put one of these guys over here. Where'd he come from? Oh, he's fine. I'm leaving it. But I do want to always do, I always do the, um, the odd numbers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we'll figure this out. All right, beauties. So there you go. I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. I'll put all of the directions on my blog, beautyinthestamper.com. If you want to purchase any of this stuff, all of this is available now. Um, but on the 5th is when we start celebration. So I hope you guys, especially if you're looking to um, become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, wait until the 5th, you guys. I mean, you can do it now, but I would wait until the 5th because you get an extra little pack of every single brand new designer series paper that's coming out. So you get a six by six. And I'll tell you, I'm doing a six by six paper share and paper play date and just the paper alone to purchase the whole entire thing is like well into the hundred of dollars but you can get it for only $27 through me. But if you sign up as a demonstrator, you get it for free. <laughs> it's only $99. You get $125 worth of stuff that you get to, to purchase. Like you just get to pick out $125 for only $99 and then you get that paper pack. If you were just to buy it through me again, it is $27, which you're welcome to do. You need to do that by the 5th if you want. I know, I'm putting in a little commercial because if you stuck around this long, I hope you are very interested in stamping. And so I would love to teach you more. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will talk to you later. Happy New Year again. Have a great weekend and be safe. All right, bye beauties.